Well, it was a, a grand arrival. He came in his splendid uniform of of a field marshal, a very, very high rank, which is ab above the ranks. In fact, it's an appointment by Her Majesty the Queen when you've reached the, the top. And he'd been head of the MOD, of the G uh, Chief of Defence Staff. Um, tremendous career behind him. He'd been a Gurkha, commanding officer of the Gurkhas in, in um, Hong Kong and in the East. Uh, a man with a huge record behind him. And then, of course, he was uh, very much an intellectual as well, a very highly intelligent man, and also very much into things like uh, ornithology, and he became patron of the GONHS. But within all that, and his arrival with his baton, which, of course, normally you see a sword or whatever, he was carrying a baton as well, which is the field marshal's emblem, symbol of, of his post, of his... Um, of how high up he is, his, his position. He was quite impressive, actually, when he arrived. And then he turned out to be just a down-to-earth, really nice guy. Tell us about the special moments, the anecdotes, uh, the there, things that you remember most yeah, about him. There's, there's a couple. The, 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 one, the thing I remember most, in fact, is not a, anecdotal. It's about his relations with the government of Gibraltar at the time and with the people of Gibraltar. Uh, Joe Bosano was in government, and, of course, those were difficult years because... As you know, Bosano at the time was attempting to take over government fully in Gibraltar, almost independence, not totally, but in terms of making sure the government of Gibraltar, the elected government, run Gibraltar and the economy as opposed to the colonial shackles, if you want to call them that, the, the power of the, of the foreign office, he was wresting it away from them. And so it was a difficult time constitutionally, he was always on the verge, and, uh, and Chapel managed to to have a good relationship with him when he was also having to wrestle with London at the same time. So he was a, a very, it was a difficult time and he did it very well because he kept good relations with the government and the people of Gibraltar and yet it was difficult. You, you were telling us on radio about this uh, this incident at the at the convent. Oh yes, yes, that that was a funny one actually. Really, it was. Uh, I, I got a call in the newsroom uh, from the convent and they said, "Come down here tomorrow morning early, at about eight thirty in the morning, and uh, and bring your camera. Uh, somebody very important is in town, and uh, you can come and, and meet whoever it is. But we're not going to tell you who." So I thought, oh my God, I, I hated that, not knowing who. But I thought, okay, I'll make my way there. So Darren Durante was on duty, who is now with us filming this, which is a, an incredible coincidence. So he's my witness to what I'm going to tell you now. And we, we got down there expecting, didn't know what to expect. But they told me no interviews. So we were shown into the garden. And a few minutes later, out walks the President of the United States, the former President of the United States, George Bush, senior, who just lost an election with Bill Clinton. He was touring Europe and came to Gibraltar. They went in and looked at the Rose Garden, whatever, and then on the way back, suddenly they approach us, they come closer, and Sir John Chappell says, Clive, do you want anything else, anything else you'd like? I said, yes, yes, I'd like an interview. So they walk up. And uh, the president walks straight up to the camera and he says, I'm very sorry, sir, very polite, very sorry, sir. I'm not the president anymore. I'm not giving political interviews. Darren had his camera on, of course, as he has now. The, the, the camera was switched on and he says, I know the camera's on, so you're listening. I said, yeah, yes, well, uh, what do you think of Gibraltar? And then he gave me a few a nice sort of interview, a few words. But it, the, ch the chap was so charming, no? And then he just walks away, and of course, Chapel was egging him on. He wasn't saying, don't go near him, as we'd been told initially. And of course, the Foreign Office guys was to hell with protocol. <laughs> so they said, Mr. President, can I have a photo too? <laughs> it shows, A, how nice this guy was. The, the, the Americans are very open and mm. very familiar, no? They don't, they don't, no protocol. And of course, Chapel was there all the time and not saying, no, 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 go out and meet this guy. So that was John Chapel.